So this is a new Chizen device. Uh, you can see there's a real SIM card slot on the back. And uh, I'm going to put this back on carefully because it's a special device. Oh, like this. And I'm going to boot it up. So this is the, this is the OS by Intel. Uh, Intel and uh, Nokia and uh, Samsung. Samsung is interested in doing this for some reason. And they kind of merge uh, Bada, Memo, Limo, Migo. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's some kind of Linux uh, running on a phone right now. Uh, so they are giving this, uh, this prototype device, they're giving it away to developers who might be interested in working on this OS. I guess uh, might be interested in making apps for this OS, but uh, uh, as far as I understand, right now there's no way to install Android apps, there's no way to install Qt apps, it's only Tizen apps, which are some kind of HTML5, I guess. Uh, so this is maybe some HTML5, maybe I can view source. Uh, so let's go in here, music. The music might work, no content, so... The big question is why? Why why would Samsung, if they have some ideas for making Android better, why don't they just add support for some other languages, for example, on, on top of Android? Or if they think um, this uh, development model that's more open, let's say, if it is, I don't know if it is, but uh, why wouldn't they uh, perhaps fork Android into some kind of like uh, nightly builds development platform uh, they could do that or but and anyways I'm not uh, an expert but uh, I don't exactly see the point uh, with this OS and uh, well Samsung can afford to do everything so they can they can play with uh, Windows they can play with Symbian but maybe they stop with that they can play with uh, uh, Palm OS, if they wanted, uh, maybe they will buy it. Uh, they play with Tizen because they're still partners with Intel, and so it might uh, be some kind of I don't know side project, or maybe they're serious about it. Maybe not. Let's click around. Where should I click? Should I try to go in here? Let's go in the phone. Messages, display, brightness. So this prototype has a decent, decent backlight, a decent screen. It's a Super AMOLED HD. Um, it's the Exynos 4210 CPU in here. So uh, it's decent uh, Samsung hardware, but it's big. That's just because it's a development device. So, do you think there's going to be devices with this? Would it make any sense? If it supports Android apps, and uh, if it supports different languages and stuff, um, does it make sense or not? You decide.